they make me feel humid. Humid. I don't drink. Oh, dear. This damn cat gets everywhere. <laughs> Greetings, Salam. Welcome to Old Baghdad, land of the Medes and the Persians where seldom is heard a discouraging word. I'll do it again, it wasn't very good. Oh, yes. Listen, no, please don't. Oh, no, don't. Please, you're making me a laughing stock now. Where seldom is heard a discouraging word. Shut up, you. And one man's mead is another man's Persian. <laughs> See, I've started, haven't I? You can tell it's going to be a good show this week. Now, may I recline? Go. <coughs> now, list to a story of purple Persian passion. Art listing? She is. <laughs> Persian might agree to start for. Sit up straight, dear, while you stand the table. Now, list. Um, it came to part. <laughs> there's something specific, there's something specific. The gas is coming, excuse me. I can't bear something persisting behind me. <laughs> persisting, dear. It's her ears. They've never been the same since she was pierced. <laughs> pierced, dear. Look, I can't explain all the jokes. Get your friend to explain as we go along. Now, it came to pass that once upon a time there was a rich merchant, and this rich merchant was travelling across the burning sands of the desert, and he came upon a beautiful maiden in the sand, buried in the sand. And this merchant said to her, O oh, beautiful maiden, if I dig you out, what then is in it for me? <laughs> and just wait a minute. <laughs> And the beautiful maiden replied, Sand. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Here yeah, comes the funny bit here. Yeah. So, the merchant replied, How irritating! I thought so. No sense of humour, all right. Now it came to pass. Oh, Dirty Doty, the beggar, beating on the wings of a pond. <laughs> what is this, the appeal of the week? Oh, I'm kind and generous, Master. Back she, back she. Oh, back a bit, back a bit. <laughs> Have you been bathing in the sewage canal? <laughs> and one strikes a match, we're done for. Stand, stand down, wind. <laughs> Dear. Have a sniff. We've had nothing else since you arrived. <laughs> yes, it's perfume. Is it? <laughs> Want to buy some? What is it? Camel number five? Oh, yeah. It's very good for headaches. Yeah, I know, it's giving me a lovely one. <laughs> put it away. Well, where shall I put it? <laughs> All right, I will. Stick it up your caftan. <laughs> Look, I know it's a big bottle, dear, but he's got a big caftan. Oh, mighty one. Yeah, I wonder how he knew that. <laughs> I must get a new door fixed on that shower. He's a lucky charm. Is it? The horn of a unicorn. Yes. Make you even mightier. Oh, well, you can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> no, it, well, Mrs. Some can have too much of a good thing, even if you can't. Don't be too selfish. But it's worth all the gold in King Solomon's mind. Is it? All the jewels in the coffers of the Khalifa cartoon. You can have one P. Well, I'll just... That's go. enough. <laughs> just in time. No! Oh, what? Here. No, take it away. No, don't want it. Don't no, want it. You can oh, it blow, blow your horn. No. Oh, wait a minute, I haven't got that. Blow your horn. <laughs> blow, you see? That's it. Blow your horn like no, no, that. I'm not making it too sophisticated for you. Or I'll have a fun simplified up that one. May you sleep like a tortoise. May you eat like a lion. May you fight like a tiger! Look, if you're going to talk about rabbits, forget it. Enjoys his part, doesn't he? Get off! I wouldn't mind, but I'm poorer than he is. I am, I'm much poorer than my life. My life? I haven't been paying any wages for what? What was it today? What's it now? It's the third, isn't it? 
for the first time on Saturday morning. Let me say, next Monday it'll be 15 years. <laughs> I'm so poverty struck that, if, 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 look, listen, if I have to peel an orange, I've got a pot to put the pith in. <laughs> Now, this is my master. This is my master, the wazir. He's the prime minister of Baghdad, Abu Ben Akkad. <laughs> the wazir, that's what they call the prime minister here, you see. Wazir. Look, I'm not doing that old gag. He was here, and he's not in now, he's over there. <laughs> because the study hasn't been here, you see. And in order to be wazir, you have to come here and leave before he was here. Do you understand? <laughs> Look, I can't stand here arguing with the rights of you. We've got a show to do. See, let's look at that. See, these are his two daughters. And the one on the right is Boobiana. <laughs> well, you can tell it stands out a mile. <laughs> well, no, she's all, she's hoity-toity, you know. Oh, yes, she's all show, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Get back, get back, get back. I'm the star of this, not those. Now, <laughs> and the other girl is Saccharine. Saccharine, and she's a nice girl. So innocent, oh, so innocent. Oh, yes. I mean, she, she hasn't got a clue. She thinks guarding your honour is protecting a judge. <laughs> Look, I know it's clean. I can't be dirty for a whole half hour, can I? Look out. Now I can do the gag. He was here, now he's over there. <laughs> Don't bother. No. What's he looking at? There'll be a crowd gathering in a minute. I'm expecting. Yeah. Pardon? <laughs> I am expecting. Are you? A pigeon. Oh, that'll cause a stir in medical circles, won't it? I am expecting the daily carrier pigeon. Oh, the, carrier, yes. the carrier pigeon. Yes, with a very important message. Ah, oh, well, look, Master, while you're expecting that, uh, could we talk about my wages? You have nothing to complain of. That's right, nothing. You get your bed and board? Well, that's the trouble. My bed is a board, isn't it? <laughs> Don't I let you take the empty bottles back to the wine merchant and keep the money? He can know what he can do with his empty bottles. What was that? You can make very attractive table lamps. <laughs> I mean, we all have our financial problems, Harry. I know that. My coffers are empty. I haven't even got any coffers. I can't even balance the, the, the Carleaf's books, let alone my own. You can't? No, I can't. I mean, all my problems would be solved if only I could find a suitable and advantageous match. For those two girls of mine. Yes, match, yes. yes. Consequently. Yes, now this is the plot now. Pay attention to this, the plot. Consequently, yes. <laughs> that's, that's not the plot. Now, that's, 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 Consequently, yes. I have let it be known yes. that Boobiana and Saccharin are ready for the marriage bed. Yes, oh, that'll be no novelty to Boobiana. She's been in more beds than a packet of seeds. <laughs> I saw your advert, Master, in the personal column of the Daily Mirage. Yes, yes. So far, alas, I have had no response. Haven't you? No, no. This is why I was hoping for something in the Pigeon Post. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, Ali, have you spotted any pigeons? No. But if we keep looking up, they'll be spotting us. <laughs> minute. No. I know you've only got a small part, but don't stretch it out. Right. Are you? Are you? On this program, you don't answer that. <laughs> Are you Abu? 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 Oh, ben come on, man. Get it out. Don't say that. <laughs> you get away with murder as it is on this show. The wazir. Yes, but what of it? Pigeon post. With a message. You're the pigeon post. We're sure handed. Well, <laughs> can't get the birds. Can't They're you? all lying. I wish I could say the same for those round here. <laughs> all right, all right, but where is it? Where's the message? Oh, oh. oh saucy. Look at 300 that. miles I've walked across the burning desert with wow. that. Isn't that marvellous? Ali, this is what I've been waiting for. Good. Oi, oi, oi. What? Don't the pigeon post get nothing for walking 300 miles across the burning desert? Of course you do. Here we are. Some bird seed. There you are. <laughs> you have been dying for that. Oh, I was dying for that all day. That's right. All right, Master? Now, what's... <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
I don't remember rehearsing this bit. <laughs> Is there a vet in the house? <laughs> no. You're dying for that as well. I did, what? what? Oh, I know it's a long way, 300 miles across the deck. What? But couldn't you have gone behind a sand dune? Yes. <laughs> oh, a sandstorm. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's, oh, yes, don't get sand in it. I, uh, nothing worse than a glass of water with sand in it. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Oi, oi, what are you trying to do? Perch on my shoulder? Or a pigeon, not a budgie, you understand? You'll go out in the courtyard there, you'll find a bird bath. See? Go and dip your beak in it. All right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, hop it. I'll do the joke, thank you very much. <laughs> Harry, my troubles are over. Good master. The Sultan of Bangalore, the richest man in the world, is coming to visit me. Ooh. Object matrimony. Oh, congratulations. I hope you'll both be very happy. <laughs> no, no, no. It's my two daughters he's interested in. Oh. He wants to marry them, both of them. Oh. So I so read it yourself. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, isn't it exciting? My dear Wazir, tales of their great beauties have reached the sh- I am so sorry. <laughs> tales of their great beauty have reached the shores. <laughs> Quiet, please, I'm reading the letter. Have reached the shores of Bangalore. Mm, I've heard of that place. I know why they call it Bangalore. <laughs> they, they, think of, <laughs> they think of nothing else. And, and, and sit down, sit down, and, and read on, read on. Mm. Yes. No, what? Oh, here we are. Arriving Friday. Arriving Friday on the 10.30 camel train. Best wishes, the Sultan. Oh, <laughs> is it romantic, yes, Master? Yes. Your two daughters will soon be sultanas. Yes. That mark. <laughs> and soon they'll be in the Sultana Pudding Club. <laughs> and we shall hear the patter, the tiny patter of cabinet puddings. <laughs> Cabinet pudding. Well, you're Prime Minister, aren't you? I mean, they can't have spotted dicks like the working class. <laughs> oh, praise be to Allah. I can leave the service of that old tar in the Kali. I can set myself up in the son-in-law business. Yes. I can spend the rest of my days in luxury and ease. Yes, the master will be. Whoa. There's a P.S. Of course, I will expect suitable dowries from you for your daughters. I suggest 5,000 dinars each. What? What do you want Darius for if he's the richest man in the world? P.P.S. How do you think I got to be the richest man in the world? <laughs> Ten thousand dinars. Ten thousand dinars. <gasps> Where am I going to find such a sum? No, no, no. <laughs> got it, got it. I can sell you... Oh, no, Master. Yeah. Don't You've always wanted to go to sea, haven't you? Oh, no, Master. Yeah, I can say you as a galley slave. Oh, no, Master. I'm no good with oars. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll attend to your business. I'll attend to mine. <laughs> I'm no good with oars. I'm talking about, oh, you know, the, the, the going your ro rollocks. <laughs> and the same to you, Mush. <laughs> no, ro rowing. I haven't, had a, I haven't had a good pull for years, you see. <laughs> I go plain to the galley. Plain to the galley! <laughs> Master, don't you understand? Some of these captains, oh, they're terrible. They like water skiing, you see. You have to row like a thing possessed. <laughs> and we are in trouble. I know we are. I mean, the only thing I have left is the clothes that you stand up in and your empty wine bottles. Well, you'll have to go. Oh, Master, don't say that. Yes. Don't say that. Oh, Master, don't say that. Oh, I don't want to go to turn out to sea. I don't want to turn out to sea. Many a brave soul lies asleep in the deep. Rock of ages cleft on me. I haven't finished yet, have I? Is it obvious? Oh, no. Very well. I will spare you. But only, and mark this shirt and mark it well, but only if you find the money for the dies. Otherwise, ha, you go. What a shocking actor, isn't he? <laughs> I mean, he's not a patch on me. He's never been the same. He's never been the same since he played the Demon King in pantomime. <laughs> I shall never get 10,000 dinars. I shall never forget, I say, the acting's going on up here. <laughs> oh, 
sorry you missed some lovely expressions there. Listen. I'll do that bit again. Oh, I shall never get things back. Oh, Anna, send help to thy pitiful servant. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, lucky for some. <laughs> lucky for me? Oh, there's something in here. Ah, I'll have a quick one, even if it is under the dregs. Here, are you calling dregs? <laughs> And whom have we here? I'm the genie of the bottle. We... <laughs> Queenie? Genie. Oh! You could have fooled me. You could have fooled them as well, I think. I've been bottled for 2,000 years. Have you? Yes, I'm such a mess. Oh. <laughs> yes. It'll be long, are you? Look, please state your business. Everything was going normally till you turned up. One minute I was counting bottles, and the next, poof, there you are. <laughs> Just a minute, won't you? Oh, dear. Look at the state of me! <laughs> Excuse me, your bra slipped, didn't you? <laughs> to think we could have got Sean Connery for this part. <laughs> yes, tell me, which bottle did you come out of? That one. Uh, uh, I thought so. Ginger wine. <laughs> That's right, dear. No. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, dear. Excuse me. I hope this is not contagious. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Let's try and pull myself together. Why is it easier? According to the rules. Yes, according to the rules, yes. <laughs> Anyone who gets us genies out of bottles, yes. we have to say, thy wish is my command. Thy wish is my command. You mean I can wish for anything I want? Anything. Anything at all? Good. Look, get me seven beautiful maidens, one for each day in the week, you see. I'm oh. not very good with girls. <laughs> That's a safe bet. Anyway, if you insist, I'll try. No, don't, don't. No, don't strain yourself. It can be very painful at your age. <laughs> if you haven't done it before. That's all right. Oh, oh so <laughs> Yes. Now, I just had to recall the spell. Yes. One for beautiful maidens. Yeah. Now, let me see. I know. Yeah. Uba, juba, umsum, scrumpsum, beautiful maidens appear. A mid one, ladies' night. Baghdad Municipal Turkish Baths. <laughs> I'm sorry, pet. I made a boo-boo. Take your hand off my body. <laughs> well, let's try another spell. We'll go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. We've enjoyed this bit, yes. Try another spell, yes. Now, how about riches? What? Riches. Don't oh, splash. Riches. <laughs> You're soaking me, yes. All right, then. Rich, rich, all oh, riches. You can make me wealthy. Good. Make me filthy rich. Well, you're halfway there already. I mean, you're already <laughs> filthy. <laughs> Look, if you don't like the show, we can always get another genie, you know. And one who isn't on the turn. <laughs> all right, all right, that's all right. All right. All right, all together, all together. All right, all right. <laughs> now then, the other spell. Yeah. Now, this is one of my best. Oh, my best. Yes, I can remember this one. He's best. Yes. Eyes, ears, nose, and hips. Give three cheers, we're in the chips. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not used to that voice. Give three cheers, we're in the chips. <laughs> Thank God for Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Good look, we've hit the jackpot. I told you I could do it. Hey, hey, where are you? There's my master. Someone's coming. I've got to get back into my little bottle. Yes. Go! <laughs> you in the bottle? Yes, I'm back in my little bottle. Oh, it is a little bottle, isn't it? No wonder he's bent. <laughs> Do you mind stuffing the cork back in? With the greatest of pleasure. A bit tighter, please. All right. <laughs> Poor devil. There must be a terrific draught in there. <laughs> Isn't this whimsical? Isn't it? I will please yourself. Honey, look, gold, gold, and all mine. No, all 
mine. Doesn't money go quickly these days? <laughs> <laughs> By the boiling towels of Bathsheba, that was a quick fortune. Oh, clever Harry, there must be at least 10,000 dinars in here or more. How did you do it? Well, you see, that, well, you won't believe this, but I was just sitting here toying with my bottles. I say that one most is getting generous nowadays, isn't he? Yes, <laughs> well, you see, in this bottle... Look, I, 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 please, no explanations. The important thing is, I've got it. Yes, but don't... That could be the Sultan. Sultan, yes, Master, can I explain? No, Ali, there's no time. Now, come along. Oh, the Master, but... Look, me. Look, while I'm gone, get those seven beautiful maidens for every day in the week, all right? Now make way for the Sultan of Bangalore. It's the Sultan of Bangalore. He looks more like the touring company of Kismet. <laughs> Hello. That's the postmaster. <laughs> all present. Pay homage! How much did it cost? <laughs> <laughs> you dirty, filthy, disgusting, cheating, lying cur! All right, all right. <laughs> You're frightened everyone to death, haven't you? <laughs> Not doing the House of Dracula. This is just a, a little comedy show now. Nicely. Continue, Master. Well, I must greet the <laughs> Now he's got his clangor. <laughs> I must greet my future son-in-law. Of course, my son. <laughs> there he is, the boyfriend. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> has he finished? For good, I think. <laughs> My stomach goes over. You've woken him up now. You've woken him up. He says that to meet his new brides, he will run with the fleetness of the deer and the speed of the arrow to the very ends of the earth. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> You'll be lucky if he reaches the front door. <laughs> my humble abode is yours, Your Excellency. Pretty enter and meet my daughters, Boubian and... I say, oi, oi, oi. Don't forget Charles Meston. <laughs> There you see a success story. A multi-millionaire and 350 wives. You see, only 23. Only 23. <laughs> He's married to his job. <laughs> I feel sorry for those two girls married to that old bag of bones. I bet I know what they'll say when they see him. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Ali, Ali, what? please oh. save us. Ali, you've got to save us. Father won't. I know he won't. He's been saving you for this. An advantageous match. Oh, oh there, there, there. Ever oh, so there, there. Oh, tremendously there, there, there. Oh, shut up. Oh, Ali, what should we do? I'll tell you what to do. Now, on the wedding night. On the wedding night. Now, you take first crack at him, you see. Now, after the funeral. <laughs> When they're reading the will, you'll both come into a lot of money. Hide, hide, hide. Harry, have you seen the dear girls? Uh, no, Mark. Do you know, they took one look at the Sultan and they were both completely overwhelmed. I know, I've never seen their whelms so far. <laughs> but when you see them, Ali, send to the street indoors because the Sultan is waiting for his tea and crumpet. <laughs> In that case, I think he'd better have saccharine with his tea. Saccharine with his tea. <laughs> and... It's too late now. It's not what going now. <laughs> and Bubiana can take care of the rest. Oh. Bubiana, well, I, come on. Oh, Ali, what? we don't want to marry that Sultan. No, you don't. We'd rather wait for Mr. Wright to come along. I know. He's hardly Mr. Wright, is he? He looks more like Mr. Nothing Left. <laughs> Yeah. What did he say when he saw you? Oh, he was most complimentary. Was he? He said he'd never seen such a beautiful pair. Yes. What did he say about Sally? He saw us for my hand. Did he? I, I didn't understand. Is that all he wants? No, dear. That's just the first installment, dear. <laughs> what are we going to do, I Ali? don't know. I don't know. Father's determined to marry us off. And if that happens... What? 
He won't have any more use for you. For me? You'll be sold as a galley slave. Oh, no. That's what he said, a galley slave. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it'll take a miracle to save us. A miracle? I thought of it. But don't be surprised if you get a ticket for the Baghdad Turkish Bar. <laughs> I don't understand. Never mind. The thing is, they do. That's the main thing. <laughs> I dream of genie with a light brown handbag. <laughs> That's the Sultan, and this, this is the house of the Wazir. Oh, I remember him. Is he the man who was here? <laughs> Look, don't spoil your farewell performance. This is not my farewell performance. This is my debut. Well, you've made theatrical history. You've managed to combine the two. <laughs> We want to get rid of the Sultan. Oh, smashing one of my favourite tasks. Now, listen, how would you like to get rid of him? Stabbed, poisoned, stricken by the plague, struck by lightning. Who, who told you, the Mafia? Goodness. <laughs> we want him out of this house, not out of this world, do you understand? All right, all right, all right. All right yes. Now, watch how I do this. Mind your asp. That's it. <laughs> Alakazim, Alakazan, the Sultan's orc to the desert sand. He's still there. Strange. He should have disappeared in a lovely cloud of magenta snow. But he didn't, did he? He's still here. <laughs> the Sultan has spoken. He says that all that remains is the handing over of the dowries. Dowries, that's my money, my lolly. He's going to take my lolly, cast a spell or something, my lolly. Oh, it's too late. Oh, I'm lollyless. <laughs> I can understand it. I'm sure I did the spell for sand. <laughs> what is it, oh, Excellency? <laughs> oh, sand, sir. <laughs> well, I was close, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, the silly mare. <laughs> Head back to your bottle. All right. See you again, pet. <laughs> Not in this show, he won't. <laughs> Sultan is most displeased. Oh, Excellency, please give me an opportunity to make amends. <laughs> he wants to leave this house immediately. Of course he does. Come on, Salt. Come on. <laughs> yes, because I know that's, that, that's the audience there. This is the way. <laughs> He has had it off lately, so <laughs> he's turban, you see, it's very tight. Oh, I live, thank you, your oh, mum. Not at all. Oh, I've done my good deed for the day, isn't that marvellous? Done my good deed now to think of number one. Number one, I'll get my seven beautiful maidens for the seven days in the week. Now to find my ginger wine bottle. Where's my ginger wine bottle? Now look, Juliana. See what I do. Now you hold it sideways for a start. <laughs> Look at how you hold it for the finish. <laughs> but my little fingers can't cover all those holes. Well, you don't want to cover that one. I think I've been stop this, don't you? Before the phone calls start coming in. Ah, I see the music lovers. Look, Bubiana, listen, dear. Have you seen my wine bottles? Yes, I took them back to the wine merchant. The wine merchant? Yes. Took them back to the wine merchant? I took them back to the wine merchant because Catherine wanted to get his instrument out of pawn. Oh, never mind his instrument. <laughs> my wine bottle. She's taking the wine oh, dear. Would you believe the wine merchant? <laughs> come here, come here. Oi, are you in there? Yes. I see you managed to do that trick with the seven beautiful maidens for the seven days of the week, didn't you? Yes. But you did it for somebody else, didn't you? Well, he's my new boss now. Is he? Traitor. Big beast. Faded fairy. <laughs> yeah. I hope the next time you're bottled is in a bottle of arsenic. <laughs> oh, well. There it is. And so we leave you, brethren. May I read you the words of the famous poem? Famous poem of Omar Khayyam, Jr. <laughs> the moving finger, having writ, moves on. So watch how you sit. <laughs> Down in old Baghdad, Salam. <laughs> Our 
Our movie round midnight tonight stars Neil Jordan as the saxophonist who swapped his instrument for a gun after witnessing a double murder. Danny Boy, your UK Gold movie round midnight. Top of the Pops next tonight here on UK Gold.